Are you gaming on aging hardware and do you want a little bit of extra performance? Okay, I know the obvious answer is yes. Today, I'm going to be talking about hardware acceleration and in terms of Windows settings, hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. So sit down, strap in, let's go. Right guys, as mentioned in the intro of the video, today I'm going to be having a look at hardware acceleration. So at the beginning of the year, I did a series of videos on uh, certain window settings uh, on and off. Um, and then what I did is I generally benchmarked uh, those settings over 10 games. I'm going to be having a look throughout this week at uh, redoing those videos such as game mode on and off, low latency on and off, and Windows Defender on and off. But the reason I'm doing this is because Windows has gone through quite a couple of changes since the beginning of the year. A couple of Windows updates have changed the nature of the relationship of certain settings. So I'll just be having a look at that. In the meantime, guys, um, if you are subscribed to the channel, just make sure that you've got that little notification bell selected. And please like, share and comment on the video. It really will help me with the algorithm. If you're not subscribed, please, if you find this helpful by the end of the video, please just hit that subscribe button. And then just go to my homepage. I've got tutorials on Throttle Stop, MSI Afterburner, and a whole bunch of other programs, as well as full optimization videos. So you can go wild there. So, guys, before I get to my results, what I would recommend is the setting I'm going over today is hardware acceleration. So, in Windows, it's under gaming, game mode, and then graphic settings, it's hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. So if you're going to be using hardware acceleration, the only place you should be using it is in Windows settings. So if you're going to be using it, just put this on over here and restart your computer. But other than that, this hardware acceleration should not be used anywhere else on your computer because it's going to cause conflict, it can cause glitching, um, it can cause a screen to freeze, and it can actually cause blue screens in certain cases. So if you're going to be using hardware accelerated GPU scheduling, just make sure, uh, just go into your uh, browser, go to settings, and then I'm using Opera GX, so um, it would be similar in uh, Google Chrome, but just go into settings, find hardware acceleration, just make sure you switch it off. Um, then next, what you want to do is if you're using Discord, go to your settings, go to advanced, which is over here, and just make sure you switch off hardware acceleration. Then next, you go into Steam, you go to the Steam over here, go to settings, go to interface, and just make sure enable hardware video decoding if supported is switched off and restart Steam. Because what's going to happen is this is actually going to cause freezes and um, it's going to cause a lot of conflicts if you've got hardware acceleration, hardware acceleration switched on. Go into VLC, go to tools, go to preferences, go to input, uh, input codex. This will be on automatic by default. Just go ahead and disable that and save. Boom. So now you're done. So guys, this will uh, make uh, uh, hardware accelerated GPU scheduling a little bit better if you switch off elsewhere in your computer. But let's just get to those results. So hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. So as you can see, I did quite an extensive benchmark. Uh, I think I benchmarked 15 games. All my games are tested at medium settings in general. All my games are a single player. Uh, the newer titles are generally at low, uh, like The Last of Us, um, Returnal, uh, a Remnant 2, Ratchet Clanks on low and lowest, and then Dead Space Remake. Everything else is at medium. Where if it's are 2.0, 2.1 is available, I use a quality setting. I do test on a GTX 1650 laptop. So your results will definitely vary if you're on slightly stronger and newer hardware, just bear that in mind. And then I am using the latest and the greatest NVIDIA driver, 537.58. I do have a video on that. I'll link it at the end of the video. I highly recommend that driver. So guys, with hardware accelerated GPU scheduling on, over the, I think I tested 15 games. Over 15 games, when I add up all my average FPS, I get to a total amount of 1014. When I do the same thing for all the 1% lows, I get to a total of 717. So you can see your hardware acceleration, you get good, you get a good average FPS, and generally you get decent 1% lows. When I switch off hardware accelerator GPU scheduling, I restart my computer twice. <coughs> 
just to make certain that 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 uh, setting um, that setting implemented. When I add up all the average FPSs, you can see my average total FPS over 15 games is slightly slower. On average, probably one FPS slower. And then when I add up all the one percent lows, you can see my one percent lows over those 15 games is also on average about one FPS lower. So with hardware accelerated GPU scheduling on, I get a total of 717. With it off, I get a total of 701. So guys, I am benchmarking 15 games, so it's not like a massive big change, but there is a little bit of extra performance by switching hardware accelerated GPU scheduling on. But yet again, if you're gonna use this setting, I highly recommend in your browser, in Discord, in VLC, in Steam, you make sure that you switch off hardware acceleration because it's going to cause conflicts. Guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to smash that like button. If you have any questions, please hit me up in the comment section. And guys, as always, if you're still watching and you haven't subscribed as of yet, now is the time to do so. It's almost the middle of the week. Have a fantastic one. It's people like you. Cheers.